This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network, and we're a proud media sponsor for the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek, which is being held virtually this year. Joining me right now is Matthew Lennox King. He is the president and CEO of Contact Gold. It's a publicly traded company. I got two symbols for you. C on the TSX Venture and CGOL on the OTCQB. Matthew, thank you for joining me today. How are you doing? I'm great. Thanks. Thanks for having me. It's uh, well, at least good to see Beaver Creek in your background there. <laughs> no, that, that, it's great having you on. And yeah, of course, you know, this is, this is one of the perks of uh, presenting at the event. You get to do a virtual interview at Beaver <laughs> Creek. There you go. Come on. There we go. And, and not only that, you're taking me to where you're located. So exactly. I'm sure yeah, about so to... That's our Green Springs project in Nevada in the background. Yeah. There we go. See, I get to go to Nevada today. You know, it's a win-win situation. So, uh, so let's start with a very quick overview and history of Contact Gold, and then we'll go from there. Absolutely. So Contact, just over three years old. Uh, we went public in June of 2017. Uh, that was on a big property deal that we did with Waterton, the large uh, money pike focused private equity group out of Toronto. Uh, so we've been around for three years, initially focused on our Pony Creek project. So advanced stage uh, gold exploration on Nevada's Carlin trend. A year ago, we brought in Green Springs, which is high grade oxide gold on the Cortez trend in Nevada. And we really strive to keep that core Nevada focus and always focused on high grade oxide near surface. That, that's really been our focus. Um, and our whole value creation methodology is really good, solid science-based exploration. And ultimately that's how uh, we believe you create the most value. Very good. So then what would you say makes the company unique and different compared to your peers out there? Sure thing. Yeah, I think part of it is, uh, is our asset base. They are earlier stage. So we're talking pre-resource in both cases, but in both projects, both Pony Creek and Green Springs, we're, we're dealing with a relatively high grade or high grade oxidized gold. It means that the ultimate uh, project evolution uh, through resources and perhaps development down the road, um, if it all pans out is a lot more straightforward than something with more complex metallurgy, et cetera. Both projects have very large land positions. Um, and that's all backed and supported by a team uh, that's had a lot of success in Nevada, going back to uh, the Frontier Gold transaction with Newmont back in 2011 um, and, and prior to that as well. Um, also backed by a great shareholder base, um, including Waterton, Newmont, uh, and a number of institutions as well. And, and what's your background? I mean, how did you come into the Contact Gold team and, and project? Absolutely. So I'm a geologist by background. I've uh, been active in the space since 96. Um, really, the early part of my career spanned most of northern Canada on the exploration end of things. And then in, in 2001, I joined up with Mark O'Day, uh, who's now the head of the oxygen group of companies and spent from 2001 through 2011 um, exploring and managing programs, working in corporate development. Uh, with Mark at Frontier, ultimately through the uh, through the Newmont transaction, which was over a two billion dollar deal in 2011, 2011 through 2015, I was CEO, president and CEO at uh, Pilot Gold, so managing and overseeing our activities and strategy in both both in Nevada but also in Western Turkey as well. Um, and then after 15 years, it was time to sort of branch out on my own. Um, reassembled or assembled a, a great team, mainly individuals uh, I've worked with in the past, uh, and we branched out into Contact Gold. Then from what you can tell me, what would you say are some of the company's value catalysts now for the rest of this year going into 2021? Sure thing. So where we are today, September 2nd, uh, we're in the final stretches of closing uh, a marketed offering, um, total proceeds up to 15 million Canadian which would give us a really robust treasury. Um, today as well, we also started drilling at our Green Springs project. So we will see a very drill heavy, um, I guess, third and fourth quarter for contact. First at Green Springs, then at Pony Creek. Um, and at Green Springs, it's really gonna be a two-stage two approach, a two-fold two approach, I should say. One is, so if you're low risk, high confidence, uh, step out drilling from the known high grade zones, but then we're also drilling for new discoveries, um, we'll call it in a secondary unit called the pilot shale. And, and we think both of those will provide um, ample catalysts for growth over this quarter. And then where can my audience go and find everything they need to know about Contact Gold? 
Absolutely. So the first stop is always our website, contactgold.com. Uh, we also have a pretty robust LinkedIn profile, et cetera. Um, or they can al always reach out directly uh, to the company if they don't have our contact details. Info at contactgold.com is always a great starting point. Um, yeah, we're always happy to chat, tell people about what we're up to and, and uh, where we see things going. Very good. Well, Matthew, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. And I look forward to our next interview. Absolutely. Thank you for having me and uh, all the best. Thank you. Again, my name is Robert Kraft. I'm your host on SNN Network, and we are a proud media sponsor for the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek being held virtually this year. Matthew will be there giving a presentation on Contact Gold. And thank you all for listening.